This is my son's banh mi sandwich, which he wanted to toast before he ate it. Unfortunately, when he went to the toaster oven, he found that the toaster oven was not working. It was dead. The LED screen was uh, empty. The oven was not functioning. So, this happens to be a Breville BOV 810 BSS, and Googling that will tell you that there's some common problems with this that people seem to have, um, most frequently with the thermal fuse. So I set about to figure out if that's the case with the, our particular oven, and then try to fix it. So you're gonna remove a lot of screws. You have to be really organized, um, label which one is which, which one goes where. It's also a good idea to write down like the procedure of what which parts were removed first, second, and so forth, so you'll know how to put it back together afterwards. So we started by removing the feet of the oven, and that's six Phillips screws on each side, so a total of 12. After that, we went to the back panel, and the back panel has 16 screws. So you remove those, and when you've done that, there's also four screws on the bottom. You can't really see them too well in the corners. You're going to have to remove those also. And when you do that, you can gently pull these metal side panels off. But be careful. The, the metal bends pretty, pretty easily. You can see we bent it a little bit right here. So you have to be careful when you're you know, pulling on the metal to get to the different parts. All right, after you take off the back panel, there's the inner panel, and that has six Phillips screws. So we took those off. Now, the thermal fuse is located behind this insulation right over here, and you're gonna have to bend back these metal tabs. These are very easy to bend, and you might be able to bend those back without even taking the screws out of the back inner panel. We took these back screws out and we were able to pull this out a little bit and then just move these tabs out of the way so we can get to the thermal fuse. You might be able to do it without. So you'll have to try and see. So you're gonna pull the insulation back gently because this will fall apart a little bit, so be gentle with it. And there you can see the thermal fuse assembly and it's held, the bracket is held in place by these two screws. Now those Phillips screws are located on the inside of the oven. So you're gonna have to go in the inside of the oven and you're gonna have to remove those two Phillips screws. You're gonna pull the thermal fuse out of its bracket. You're gonna pull the insulation back, and I'm holding it here with a paper clip, and there's your thermal fuse. All right, so I tested it with the multimeter. You could see there's no reading right here, so that tells you that the thermal fuse is not conducting any electricity, and it's, it's, it is the problem, it's, it's broken. So you need a new one. So I bought the same exact specifications. It's 10 amp, 250 volt. 216 degrees Celsius. And you can see it's $5.99 for five. It's very, very inexpensive. All right, so there you go. And just to show you what a good fuse will do, when you test the continuity of the new fuse, you are going to get electrical reading here. That's different than the, the blown fuse. All right, so you take the old fuse, and what you want to do is you want to cut, take a wire cutter and snip just this part out. You want this longer wire part to stay. Uh, some people like to solder it in. I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to crimp it in. So I needed a longer end piece so I could crimp the new fuse in. So you use these crimp connectors to attach the new fuse in. All right, you're gonna put the insulation back on it. You're gonna put it back into the bracket you might need to adjust it a little bit. And then it, these are going to get connected to those two screws on the inner oven, right? So you're gonna attach that, you're gonna put the insulation back, you're gonna put these tabs back, and then you're just going to start replacing everything that you took out. I mean, the, the inner panel, um, the outer panel, the feet, all the different screws. And if you're organized, you'll be fine with that.